So The Athletic just released an article basically debriefing their their story on why Gerson Rosa is going to get got fired. For the past several weeks of this offseason, they have gone and interviewed multiple people. A majority of the organization of the Minnesota Timberwolves, including players, had problems with Gerson Rosa. The first major catalyst of why he got fired was because supposedly he's having an intimate relationship with somebody in the organization even though he was married that's uh sexual misconduct right there that's a no-no that's a uh ethical and moral dilemma right there second off now sachin gupta the guy who was the vice president who was promoted to president as interim basis but he and gerson's butted head they had a problem this year and the problem was that the Houston Rockets were giving him a job offer with better pay. Gerson's said F that and blocked it. Didn't let him leave, okay? So with that happening and him not being allowed to go, Sachin Gupta was very upset, very upset. And that wasn't gonna get fixed until it literally went up to ownership and ownership had to step in and mediate a resolution between the two of them. Now. We go over and we look at Jordan McLaughlin and Jared Vanderbilt. At the beginning of free agency, they were both deemed priorities. Like this is another thing, his negotiation tactics. Other other teams complained to their ownership and went back to Glenn Taylor and now Mark Lore and Alex Rodriguez, basically saying they don't like how Gerson Rosas does business. Nobody in the league liked how he did business, how he traded players, not, not traded players, treated players how he negotiated with people. They felt like he was ruthless, he wasn't nice. They felt like they just, so a bunch of people who followed Gerson Rosas to Minnesota were saying like, this isn't the man we thought he was, okay? People were talking and saying, this guy is not who I thought he was. People, there were some people saying that this, he was different in the beginning and then everything changed with the pandemic. But then there's also people who said he's completely different who they thought he was when they worked with him in other organizations. Okay. So this comes down to, I think Gerson Rosa says it looked like a lot of people didn't like how he treated people. Okay. N not only the front office, but players, people didn't like his tactics. People felt like he was ruthless, that he was narrow minded. It felt like they ran a dysfunctional front office. There was a lack of communication. It seemed like there, there wasn't much help with the process making. Like he only made the decisions. And there was also a lot of problems with people talking about the trade protections, okay? This is a great article by The Athletic that they just broke everything down going on with the Minnesota Timberwolves and why they filed Gerson Rosas, which in my opinion, blew my mind okay i'm almost at work right now so we're just gonna wrap this video up and yeah no gerson rosas is fired because of not only you know having an intimate relationship with a co-worker which is again sexual misconduct but he he had bad trades people were very upset of the light pro light protections he put on most of his trades okay besides that he also seemed like he butt heads with a lot of people in the organization. People did not like the firing of Ryan Saunders midseason and then not interviewing anybody and just going and hiring Chris Finch. Okay. So there was like a lot of no-nos that he did. And really it seems like a lot of people felt like he didn't ask for people's opinion. He fired a longtime scout. He fired multiple people. He was kind of like a czar. He was a dictator. He was controlling everything it seems like. And yes, there's a few backers in there. Maybe I'll make another video after I reread this article in depth, take notes. But it seems like Gerson Rosas was a control maniac who was a douchebag and people just didn't like working for him. So crazy freaking article. I'll link it down below. I had to go to work, but yeah. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this. This is wild. Minnesota Timberwolves are, of course, caught up in the most shiitake sandwich ever.
Okay, I'm, I'm done. I gotta go to class. I mean, work, not class.